Hello everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today we're going to do a little bit of training on LibreOffice. Now, you've probably seen my reviews of, of the past few versions of LibreOffice, and along with those, I've received lots of comments, questions, you know, how do you do this, how do you do that, can you do this, all that kind of thing. So, I figured I'll do a series of videos showing how to do various things with LibreOffice. Today, what we're going to do is a table of contents. Um, so let me go and open up, you know, we got LibreOffice open right here. Let me go and open a document. And let's go pull this bad boy up. All right, this is a blog post that I wrote not too long ago. And so let's start out. We'll go and, and I'll, I'll try to remember to stick with the uh, using the drop down menus rather than all the shortcuts so that uh, everybody can keep up with what I'm doing here. Let's go and we'll make a title page on here. So let's insert a manual break. Make sure it's a page break. All right, and that puts our title on its own page. And we're going to highlight it and we're going to format it as a title. And let's just move it down part way through the page so it's kind of centered up. All right, here's where our body of our document starts. Let's go and insert another manual page break right there. And that gives us this blank page. You can see as I'm scrolling there, you've got a blank page right there. And that's where we're going to put our table of contents. So now before we actually make the table of contents, we've got to go and format all of our headings so that the uh, the little table of contents creator engine can find all of our headings and knows what it's doing. So since we don't have an introduction or a, uh, a heading for this introduction section here, let's go and do that just so you can see how to do the whole process here. Type it introduction and we'll highlight it, come up here to the styles and we're going to give it heading one. Now, I've got a bunch of other headings through the document. Let me go through and make sure they're all heading ones. Because I didn't, I, yeah, I thought that they were threes. But for what I'm going to show you how to do, they all need to be the same. All right, so they are all heading ones. Let's come back up to, all right, so here's our table of contents page. So let's do an insert and indexes and tables. And it defaults to table of contents. You can go and there's other types of tables and whatnot that you can put in there, but we're just gonna work with table of contents. If you wanna change the name of the table of contents to something else, maybe just make it contents or links or whatever you wanted to do, you put that in right there. And uh, if you wanna be able to, if you, you see right here, there's this protect against manual changes. If you go and uncheck that, you'll be able to make changes to the table of contents after it's generated. Now, all right, let me go and we'll, we'll go and we'll generate this right here. Just click on OK. And there we go. Now, it's um, to go and uh, you can see if you hover over it, it'll tell you control click to follow the link. So we've got our table of contents, but let's say that we wanted to have a multi-level table of contents. So let's do that next. We'll get rid of our table of contents. And we'll come down here and... Let's just say, okay, we, so we got this part right here. We'll give it, we'll hit enter, and we'll insert part one. And we'll call that heading two. Then we'll come down here, enter part two. And once again, we'll give that heading two. So now let's go back up and we will insert our table of contents. And 
click OK. And as you can see, we've got you know our our heading to heading part two now, um, or yeah, however you want to say it. Um, but anyway, that's basically you know all there is to it. And is if you come over here and look at our our headings, you know you got heading two, heading three, so on down the road. So you can make it basically as many subheadings as you wanted to do. And let me go and we'll, we'll back up again. Let's go and we'll go back to our indexes and tables. And if you come here to styles, here is where you can go and change what your table of contents look like. So as you can see, I've got, if you look at mine here, okay, so level one contents, which would be your heading one it is using contents one for its paragraph style now you could go through you see you got your whole list here you could go through and select whatever it is you want um, same thing for all the different levels so you know if you wanted all you know every level to look essentially identical just go through and set those so that they're all content one, content two, whatever it is that you want, however how you want it uh, set up. And that's uh, that's you know essentially it. Um, and then here in columns, this is kind of self-explanatory. You can, you know, if you wanted multiple columns in your table of contents, you can do that. Uh, and then down here, you can specify how wide you want the columns and so on and so forth. And then, if you wish to have a background color or you know some shading, that sort of thing, fill it in right here. But um, you know that is essentially it. I mean, real simple to do. Now, the one thing I will tell you about doing these auto-generated table of contents is that it—I don't—I don't want to say it doesn't work, but. Um, if you are going if you're going to be sharing this document with somebody that is using say Microsoft Office you know a different piece of software I have found that a lot of times the table of contents does not port over correctly even if you you know you have saved in docx or doc form, format I've just found that the table of contents doesn't always uh, convert over correctly and the same thing going from uh, going from uh, Microsoft Office to LibreOffice so there is another way to do table of contents it's more time-consuming um, however it is much more customizable and uh, that is what I'm going to show you how to do now so let's get rid of this table of contents and basically we're going to do this all manually now so let's make uh, okay so let's call it uh, table of contents and we'll center it up and we'll make it uh, we'll make it a subtitle there we go okay so we got that and then basically we're going to write out all of our various chapters and whatnot but like before we went through and did the headings we're going to bookmark stuff now so let's go and we'll highlight introduction come to insert bookmark and we'll just call that intro okay come down here and we'll do this one We're going to insert again. I'll just call that Libre. Okay, and I'm going to go through and do that for all of our headings. So I'm going to pause the uh, the video while I'm going through and, and doing all those just so that you don't have to sit there and watch all these. And then we'll come back. All right, so I've gone through and I have bookmarked all of my headings so let's go and we'll make our table of contents now so we'll call introduction 
Okay, so we've got our introduction, and so let's go and we'll highlight that. Come up to Insert, and go down to Hyperlink, and we want so, so don't don't select uh, Internet. You want Document. Come here to Target. Click on that little disc-looking button, or target-looking, whatever you want, and just and you can see all of our bookmarks here. So we're going to link that with intro. Click apply. Close it. Down here now on this uh, hyperlink dialog box we're going to click apply and close. And now if you come up and do yeah, uh, what is it? Control plus click. Yeah, control plus click. It'll take you right to that. Now you can go and still go and put, the, you know, say a page number or whatever in there. Um, depending on your what you're using this for, you may not want to do page numbers. And the reason being, like, let's say for example, you are formatting a a, a manuscript that will be a Kindle book or is going to um, you know any of the other sites to be an ebook well the the uh, the text flows on an ebook based on the size of the reader the, the font size all that kind of stuff so page numbers have absolutely no meaning in ebooks so you don't want to have a page number there you just want to have the title of the chapter the section whatever you want it so basically this is and, and in fact, if you are going and formatting for either sending an ebook to Kindle or if you are going, I'll say, the route of Smashwords or, or one of the other um, uh, ebook services, this is the route that you want to go to make your table of contents because uh, the automatic that I just showed you before, it doesn't work. So, anyway just you know from this point I just continue what I'm doing here and all of the other uh, headings do the exact same thing for and the nice thing about doing it this way is you can make this look exactly the way that you want and uh, whereas with the with the automatic method you're kind of limited with how that little um, uh, table of content creator is is programmed but that about finishes this up for how to make tables of contents be sure to leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below I am going to set up a playlist for all of the uh, LibreOffice tutorials and I will include links for that once I get that playlist set up so be sure to check that out uh, once again, thanks a lot for checking out this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you on the next video.